So, so tell me, uh, Felipe, what are you going to do here? What's what's left to go on back here? So I have four more 4Ks that are going to be going in here. I uh, let a teammate use four of them for a couple of shows uh, just to get a little bit more power and uh, help out with uh, some of the classes that he was in. So they'll be going right here and right here. And I got two more custom fuse blocks. And that's why all that wire right there will be coming back this way. And of course, you know, getting it looking clean oh, and uh, presentable. I ordered more uh, back plates from LAF Audio. Uh, that will go along with the theme. So the two amps that are gonna be on top will be reversed and will be upside down to display it. LAF is also making me a new RCA distro block, a new base knob um, with a base knob holder. Uh, yeah, they're, they're taking care of me. Uh, Barnaby's looking out for me and got me some goodies on the way. So it's really gonna help out um, I also have a head unit uh, holder, a mechless double din uh, head unit holder that's coming on the way with the strap and uh, new RC I got some uh, new RCAs that are going to be going in that's going to be replacing uh, these audio lesion ones uh, and everything will be GP, you know, All RCA, matching. yep, everything will be GP RCA from here on out and uh, also got a couple other base knobs I could choose from this base knob is going to be a double knob and uh, I'm going to use a single for the mids so I'm going to have one controlling highs mids and subs this yeah, I've around. actually considered doing that uh, running a base knob using a base knob to control volume over everything and then one to control like mids and then one to control the subs yeah you know, it, it, some, some, some because that uh, I like a tactile feeling the tactile feeling of a physical knob yeah. and, it, and it always works and the <laughs> as far as the center console got completely redone the center console uh got ripped out of here um because basically the six and a halfs that were in it were basically ib infinite baffle right you know they were just not enclosed uh I got some sparked innovation voltage gauges that still need to go in here an RBX4 from uh, sparked innovations that's got to go in here uh, that's going to be you know used for all my relays right. which is going to be really really nice it's going to clean everything up and make it look really good Isaac like I made a template and had an idea for a, a center console and Isaac up at GP you know I mean, like, when he's back there in the wood shop, when he gets in the zone and he gets on that computer, I mean, he makes stuff happen. And that's why I got the center console that I got right now. You know, I came up with a template and an idea, and he ran with it, and he <laughs> got it looking good. So now it's holding four eights, four six and a halfs, and two super tweets on each side, so four super tweets too. It's got a plexiglass top that's going to have all LEDs in it. And everything's engraved on it that's going to hold the four sparked innovations uh, voltage gauges. But you can see that in there right now. Yeah. Just not installed. Like the voltage gauges are literally just in, like in the holes. Nothing hooked up to them. So I'm sure they're going to be bouncing around a little bit today <laughs> when I'm playing. I literally got, had to rewire every single speaker in it because now it's in the center console. So, yeah, everything is completely rewired. I mean, I didn't even trim that one right there. Yeah. But I wanted to clean it up, make it look a little better. All sundown, you know, wiring. This go round, these will all be changed, you know, to the GPRCAs. But right. it looks so much better than that white and black the speaker wire. And plus, I'm not ashamed to admit it now. It was all CCA when I first yeah. did it. Yeah. So bearing in mind that this is like not complete at all. Oh no. Uh, but the general idea is here. Okay, I see what you got going on. So you got two six and a halfs toward the back. There's four six and a halfs. Oh, the okay. And then, uh, up there can't really see those but 
we got these guys and those guys. So we've got four six and a half in the back and then four eights in the front. Is that an eight? Do what? Is that an eight? Yeah. It is an eight, yeah. An apocalypse tweets. This is nasty. Very, very nasty. And this is all Vibraflex that was supplied by uh, Pure Pressure Audio. Uh, I got put in contact with them through uh, Chris Russ. And right now there is six boxes just on the floor. And I mean, it is like, feel that. It is a tank. It's, hit it's hit the floor panel now. Oh, good Lord. Hit the floor. Hit that and that, that feels like you're hitting go. a chunk of wood, man. That's just, holy crap, dude. It's all the way on the firewall. I took everything out, put it up on the firewall down in the key. I mean, it was a lot of work to take it apart holy and put it back crap. together. Guys, it's like hitting a piece of concrete. This stuff doesn't have any give at all. It's like, it's literally like hitting a piece of concrete. That's, uh, you expect it to have some smush when you hit it? No. No, that's like fiberglass on concrete. That's what it feels like. And these right here are not hooked up. So right now, the speakers that are in the vehicle that are not hooked up are the four MSQLs, the two in the door here, two in the door there. Those are not hooked up. And the four uh, TP, the 25, the Def Bonds tweeters, those are not hooked up right now. I'm only running the four eights and four six and a half. That's, that's your, it. That's your whole mid and half, mid, mids and yep, highs. Yep, that for right now. Let me ask I you about these. Else. Yep. Uh, these are the what? MSQLs. The MSQLs. Now, how do you like them, sound wise? I'll tell you this right now, like. Back when I first started buying Def Bonds mids and highs, you know, mm -hmm. everybody was, ra you know, big craze, the Arnold's, Arnold's, Arnold's. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you right now, their Sylvester line is like amazing too. And when the MSQLs came out, like I bought a pair for my wife's car and they sounded so good that I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy a pair for my truck. So I bought a pair for my truck and I bought the six by nine adapter and I swapped them out. And once I put an amp on them, it was just like blew my mind to me like if you're if you can i mean i would rather buy two or three pairs of these than one pair of six five seven eight nines you know yeah. then the other i mean you're gonna get they're amazing they're they're absolutely amazing the sound quality what did you have in there before them. what did i have in there before yeah. i had m6 uh one se's that's what i had in, in there 60s? before yeah that's I, what i had the, the machetes no, 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 I had the, the M61 SEs, and then I uh, took those out and had M67 ACs, mm -hmm. and now I have the MSQLs. Ooh. Those fit a little bit I, better like in the door, that. too. I'm like that with the uh, with the M60, the machete M60s. Those are amazing. I, they're, they're so, they punch so far above their weight. I, I have the same experience with them, they just blow my mind and the neos a lot of people i haven't i haven't heard them so the machete neos yeah i feel like are another one that's just extremely you know slept on underrated like yep. they're just they're amazing yeah and i haven't got like i got all new carpet that is going to go down here all new carpet to hide everything and uh i highly suggest if you're going to install vibraflex watch christopher russ's video on youtube and ask dj rustables yes man. and that was probably one of the most informative in-depth like videos on how to install that also um get true 16 pound pour foam if you're gonna add foam to a vehicle use that use that that, get that, that the, the real, hardcore stuff yeah yep, get the good stuff because it gets hard it doesn't stay spongy. I had to times. chop. I had to chop off certain pieces with the sawzall. That's how hard it gets. <laughs> I'm not joking. So I added it, a little bit. It basically bit. turns into wood. Yeah, I added yeah. a little bit in certain areas to the vehicle, and I had to trim it with the sawzall. Um, the roof, the wood roof, is coming out. Oh yeah. That is a wood roof. A lot of people don't really see it it's hard no, to kinda, that's, that's kind of the point right yeah but it's all coming you got out got a little and quarter inch foam in there underneath it. got a little quarter inch foam nope, under that that's just the suede that's the material yep Has that's that. the suede backing but yeah i'm putting 
uh, I got more Vibraflex on the way, and I'm going to put about five, six boxes on the top. Of course you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. And That's I the only reason it's coming out is because yep. it's and about I to went, get Vibraflex. went all the way up, too. So, like, when I added it, like, I brought it all the way up to... It made everything, like... Oh, it, yeah, you went you went up on here and... Oh, yeah. Man, this, this, this is... I'm telling you guys, this is crazy. It, it's it's hard <laughs> yeah this i mean it's is, it's like it's like concrete in a sheet it's it's a pain to put on i'm not going to sit there and act like it isn't but you serious know. business though this is the jam right here yeah let I, me ask you this do you think and be honest do you think there's any sound deadener out there that does what that stuff does well i know that the sundown uh deadener is kind of uh there's like an equivalent to it mm -hmm. and see i th I, and I don't want to like speak down on any dead nerve oh, because no, i, I feel like there's dead nerve for everybody right i've used uh silas and i've used second skin and gp and right. vibraflex and sundown and sky high i've used right. them all and i feel like there's an application for, for every all that you, you know for every uh so so what's the drawbacks for, Vi for vibraflex it is uh it is very hard to put on very hard very to hard on. to put on pricey you, you got to be patient um, I, I I would say that it's you know on par. It's up there, you know, with some of the other you know more expensive brands. Stuff. Gotcha. And you know, just like I feel like if you're like the GP Dunder that was in here worked phenomenal. It was yeah. great. You know, right. it, it was it, it was absolutely great. People thought that it was my actual interior. Yeah. Looked, because the way that I laid it down, it, it looked, looked like that, it looked you know, that good. Yeah. It, it looked. They thought it was my actual interior and. It was just soft, and I needed rigidity. I right. was trying to work on you're mass loading. You were trying to make a panel stiff. Yes. Not just and not hard. Just, yeah, stiff and hard. Ain't and that uh, the way we all want to that's, be? At that's times. that's 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 the way the lady. <laughs> the, 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 see, all you had to do was have a lady install it, and yeah. it would have just worked. And the thing is, is like I love all the kinds of deadener that are out there. Like I've got GP all in my truck, and it's been in there for four years, and. It, it's amazing it makes it sound like i'm riding in a new vehicle you know yeah, yeah. like how quiet it is you know sometimes i gotta really watch and make sure and look at my rpm so i don't double start my car you know because i'll sit quiet, in my truck yeah. and i'll go to turn it so like it's amazing the gp stuff is amazing and it will take the vibrations out but i needed something to add some stiffening and i needed rigidity and i needed you know i wanted it as hard as a rock and i got it <laughs> You know, um, we might need to talk to Tyler about adopting a new puppy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that might be a that might be a thing. I mean, it's, that's what I tell everybody. It's not always about what is the best. It's about what works well for what application. Yeah, you know, what, well, that's the thing. You can't. One thing isn't the best. Like uh, I wouldn't want to put Vibraflex in my truck. Like, I wouldn't want to, you know, do that. Like, my, the, my truck is like, it's an 08, but it's like sitting in a 2024. Yeah. You know, how quiet it is. When I shut the doors, it makes your ears pop sometimes. You know, it, it's just, it sounds great. And uh, the acoustics are amazing. No rattles in the door. People couldn't believe when I had the system in my truck because there was absolutely no rattle. No rattles, no Whatsoever. Yep. And everybody thought I had a blow through because of how loud it was when it was just a center console so so what's going to go in here on the console now when you uh when you finish so, up what I are we doing say right here i'll be controlling uh this right here will be basically all the voltage at the amps at each amp it's going to be the voltage at the amps since the knob will uh be able to you know keep track of the banks i want to i'm just curious right. what's at the amps each amp you're gonna have yep. voltage for each amp uh, yes each amp it's fire. because yeah i'm gonna have two yeah, 4k strapped per sub you know now that i got my other uh you're gonna do temps the same way do what you're gonna do temps the same way i got a voice coil temperature sensor uh I mean, kit the on the way no i'm not too worried about the amps those amps stay they cool. cool and plus i got four uh, fannies that are yeah. going in but still it would look cool i know one for the, the temperature down below for each amplifier well it would look cool it would look cool 
but well, I got just put that in the back burner and see if it, yep. if it, if, it, if you got a spot you need and to fill. And I also you know? got four fannies that are going in, and like I'm super excited about getting those in because those bilge fans work great. But Sparked Innovations, man, those fannies and the fanny juniors and the big fat fannies, man, they look great. Yep. And plus, with all the LEDs that are going to be going on in here, right? I mean, it's really going to set it off. Well, it's, it's a show. It's really a show. It's a show bill. It's it's going to look yeah. really good. Yeah, I really, agree. Really good. I agree. I and, mean, not and as demos good are as free. That. Yep. <laughs> I got um, 